hey yo everyone welcome back to another terraria video today we got a special little video here the man known as chaos one of the greatest builders in my opinion of modern day terraria has gone out of his way and built me a lab now i talked about this a long time ago i tweeted it out and i said something like i kind of want blue jay or chaos to build me a lab for experiments and you know future videos because currently i do all of my videos in the same world uh i did have a world before where i did a bunch of videos before but then i upgraded to a new world and you know it's i think it's about time to upgrade to another world because the world is currently getting filled but yeah let's go ahead and check it out here and uh, i'm kind of i'm kind of hyped to see it i'm kind of hyped to see it so let's see here we're starting off in a jungle okay okay but let's go ahead let's zoom out a bit here hop in the spaceship literally and let's see oh my look at this oh my we got the 101 lads what is this exit okay chaos is here yes and look at this we got the the mushroom steampunker has awoken but yeah we got the mushroom portal network firing range okay we got a bunch of stuff here we got the 101 from the 101 industries uh let's go ahead let, let's go up this direction first and see what's like over here whoa my god uh we got a bunch of storage very very nice made out of the meteorite stuff uh this meteorite stuff actually looks really cool when it's painted we got a uh what is this a blood or a meat something like that it allows you to create the uh meat blocks i don't think they're called meat blocks but i'm gonna call them that for now and then we go up here we got the nice bed and we got another exit to the top but yeah let's go ahead let's check out the uh, firing range first and see what kind of crazy stuff we got going on here firing range you know we got some guns right there on the wall the target dummies to place meteorite platforms we got these labeled right here this is like perfect this is this is what i wanted because this would be very very nice to test videos with can i see all the way down there almost yeah let's go ahead let's just check out the uh, bottom floor here before we go to the portal network or anything so we got this right here oh he made an npc race course okay very very nice so it says npc race course assign npcs to the houses below then drag them to the green boxes use this teleporter to go to your observation area red lever starts the wiring and use it again stops wiring and kills hostile npcs green lever lowers races to start to starting area then using it again begins the race make sure to turn the red lever on first very very nice I recommend doing this at night for best results due to npc ai if an npc stops moving flip the red lever twice with a brief pause in between this will kill hostile npcs and respawn the resetting town npc ai and they'll start walking in so chaos has learned by building this course how dumb npc ai is it's just the fact at this point that npc ai is very very, very dumb and uh, you know there's usually problems with them that's why doing the races and stuff like that fights may seem unfair is their faults but yeah we will we will do that later we'll do that later for now let's head up this way okay shoots me back up to the top and here we are on like a little balcony area okay very very cool i wonder what the rest of the map looks like let me go over here is there anything over here more area over here no nah, okay so this is just it right here in this area all right let's go ahead and head through the portal network oh my what is this we got a creeper we got an alien martians these seem like the things i would have in here maybe more uh npcs i would have in here but uh i know once we install well i do have mods enabled all right i guess because vanilla armors don't break on armor stands we're good but what's going on over here what is this dungeon research distance measurement npc arena copyable asset storage space i want to go to space ah that's very cool i didn't know you could set up teleporters like that i like that so we got the little space arena space area very very nice next up let's go to the copyable asset storage i don't know if i said copyable or if i said copyable the first time whatever oh look at this oh i like that mushroom i like the mushroom that's fire very very cool let's head back to the other area next up we got the npc arena oh i'm hyped for this oh yes the npc arena now i don't know how much he tested this um or if he used any mods to test it he did send me a message he said that he didn't use mods during the build just in case you know anything for 1.4 happened and it looks cool so i'm assuming yeah that summons the mobs and what that also oh that teleports them into down here okay i see it we're gonna put all these to the test in a second don't worry all right next up we got this distance measurement something very very useful to have distance measurement um so this is pretty much where if i ever need to measure say like a projectile uh, i don't know how far i can hit something then this is the place we're gonna come to as you can see it goes very very far oh my how far does this go god damn okay so i think i understand what this is the the copyable stuff because we go here we use cheat sheets uh paint tool and we can copy the distant measurement stuff uh the teleporter pad here the one-on-one the mushroom very very nice yeah there's all that very very cool little area to teleport everywhere and next up we got 
got dungeon research. Is there anything to the right? No, we're good. Dungeon research. Let's check it out. Boom. Oh, yes. So this is the dungeon. This is very cool. This lever opens the roof and actuates the test tubes. Don't know if I want to touch that yet. Um, This sends me to the dungeon. Now, I'm assuming this is just legit. Just the dungeon. Nothing touched. Yep. Uh, I guess let's do this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I'll just be leaving. Are you on the lever? Excuse me, sir. I need you. To, all right, you know, I can just go like this. Actually, you know, I can put them back in there in their tubes like nothing ever happened. Look at this. The power of mods. Very, very beautiful. But yeah, there you go. That's that whole area. Now let's go ahead. Let's head back here and let's put the NPC race on. And let, let's see. I, I got to read everything again to make sure I don't mess up. All right. So we're supposed to turn on the red lever. Boom. And then we turn on the green lever. <laughs> To drop him down and then we drop him down again oh the nurse kind of stuck come on get in there nurse all right three two one begin let's see how well they will race okay they going up uh, one of them's going up see this is what i'm talking about npc what the fuck? all right so let us begin the race we're gonna drop them down we're gonna drop them down once okay they're all stuck very nice which is what you like to see from npcs and then we hit the red lever and the green lever and then they should take off. The nurse has a nice lead. Oh, but she doing a little bobbling. I don't know if that's the right word there. Oh, she dropped down. Okay, let's see what she does here. I don't know if I turned on the course right. So we'll see if any other NPCs actually move or not. Uh, I can see these arrows that uh, Chaos made here. And, you know, they're a little stubby. They're a little stubby on the pointy side of the arrow. But that's completely understandable because when I did that wipeout video, I had a lot of troubles making tiny arrows because they're really hard to make. So I settled for big arrows. If you've seen the wipeout video, and you look at the arrows you'll know but we got the nurse with a great lead here uh we have the guide and the gun merchant at the same time or the arms dealer at the same time moving forward but it looks like the nurse is gonna take the w she is so close she is so close she just has to turn left turn left oh here we go the crab is coming back she's gonna go left okay i guess the hell not wait oh e oh Oh, e oh, she doesn't know. She can't make up her mind. She made it past the conveyor belt. And there we go. We have us a winner with a steady second place coming in? Question mark? Steady second place? I don't think anyone can make second place because uh, this is open now. Come on, come on. Somebody falling. Let me just see someone falling. No? All right, fine then. Oh, there we go. They fell in, but they're not going to die because we have Alchemist NPC installed. All right, I'm here at the arena. Now I was trying to test it, make sure the NPCs teleport. For some reason, this left teleporter just doesn't teleport the NPCs. I don't know why, but let's get us a nice, decent matchup here. I, I have no idea if it would be a good matchup. All right, let let's get the, the skeleton merchant. We'll put them in the right one, and then we'll get the, uh, I don't know, Santa Claus. No, no, no. Let's get the Goblin Tinkerer. Sure, uh, they're both the same height. But yeah, look, when I hit this lever, everything should activate there's a flame trap that activates that's on a timer and then the slimes will activate and then the teleporter is supposed to activate but as you can see when i do it only one teleporter works which i have no idea why so i will just drop my boy dars in here damn free hit free hit cheating ass but let's see how this fight's about to go down i don't know if i have any other mods that increase npc defense because my boy dars over here is doing no damage oh wait he hit a 12 right there but i'm just standing here in the middle uh hopefully this isn't an interference to them if anything if they're aiming towards me this should not be an interference because they're gonna be shooting straight but yeah let's see who will take the w here in this little mini match just seeing if the NBC arena works and yes it does and i'm happy that chaos went out of his way to make both a racing course and an arena so shout out him if you guys haven't already there'll be a link in the description there'll be a a, a heart on his comment if he comments on this video but go check out his channel he's a great builder uh, i got stuff coming up with him soon i can't talk about it i don't even know when i'm up with this video oh dar is knocked off into the lava wow you hate to see it or you love to see it. i don't know it depends who you're voting for but yeah me and chaos we got some things coming up soon don't know when i'm gonna post this video because i'm gonna wait for him to post his video and then i'll try and do it on the same day as him i don't know unless he lets me post it earlier but yeah just one quick look around the lab one last time you know we're gonna be here a lot i'm gonna be doing my future videos here and uh, i'm gonna try and keep a theme when it comes to building more areas here at the lab because i'm gonna I'm a pretty much use this whole map as much as i enjoy the lab itself you know i might just build like say if i'm doing a, another video i might just build it out here right outside of the lab and we'll just add on more and more as we go we'll build up things just like the old world um i don't know maybe i'll show off the old world in a video too the last world we were just in but yeah thank you everybody for watching thank you chaos for going out of your way and building this appreciate it i love it probably better than anything i could ever do uh at least currently with my build building prowess you know maybe if i watch him in some of fury and blue jays tutorials maybe i'll be a better builder than them i don't know yeah thank you everyone for watching 
I'll, I'll see you next time. Stay, stay safe. Throwing this in here at the end of the video. Make sure to check out Chaos. His link will be in the description. And also make sure to check out the video he did of him building the whole entire laboratory. It's a great video. I haven't watched it yet because it isn't out, but I just know it's a great video. And also be ready because Chaos and a bunch of other Terraria content creators are going to be joining me in the next episode of Wipeout. Get ready. It's going to be dope.